The year was 2014. The news media was, uh, well, you, you know what the news media was. Uh, and there was a need for, for something different. So Bloomberg gave us, with all due respect, over two years, Mark Halpern and John Heilman would do 526 episodes, cover two conventions, report from a dozen and a half debates, and eat an uncountable number of pork tenderloins. As the 2016 presidential campaign came into full swing, the show grew from a half hour to a full hour. MSNBC picked it up, and their official Vine account drew more than 1,800 followers. Uh, by the way, very, very few people know that this, this theme music for the show uh, was composed by Rizzo. Uh, that's why John tweeted it 77 times. A anyway, by the end of the cycle, only Hillary Clinton had refused to be interviewed on WADR, and uh, look, look what happened to her. But uh, all, all the other presidential candidates were, uh, as they say, down with the program. Bernie Sanders, Ted Cruz, oh sweet, Donald Trump. This is thick ice. John Kasich, Lindsey Graham. Whoa, whoa, Yankee boy. Even Evan McMullen, for heaven's sakes. Did you ever kill anybody? Being a guest on With All Due Respect was like being in a movie for the first time. It was exciting, a little confusing. <laughs> Uh, f f f f and when it was all over, you asked yourself, am I getting paid for this? I don't know what the f you're talking about. His tiny hands? The producers always made sure that interviews were conducted at the highest professional standard. A little on his face, but again, the clothes, spotless. Very and impressive. Got a napkin. Oh, 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 my goodness. Oh. With piercingly insightful research, they designed segments that brought out the best of everyone who came on the show gently pushing us out of our comfort zones. Right, I'm a wino, I just drink wine. Because this is what the political world wanted. Okay, let's see. Uh... Oh! Like all shows on cable news, with all due respect, was not without its criticism. And sometimes the critics made good points. I've never known of a greater oxymoron than you two guys having a show entitled With All Due Respect. <laughs> hey, I came up with that name, Senator, with all due respect. Other people had some alternative ideas for the name. It's like the gong show. The interviews did not always go as planned, which means viewers never saw clips like this one. Too much I power. Think that if you're going to spend this entire interview trying to make us make comparisons to the real world, you're going to find yourself very frustrated. In the end, it was a show that always stayed hungry. And everything goes better with Captain Crunch. Watching with all due respect could make you feel a lot of things. It could make you laugh and cry at the same time. Team Cruz needs to win it as much as Jon Snow needs a fresh pair of pants. That's also funny. <laughs> <laughs> Are you crying? One thing we'll always remember is how Mark and John made the most of their state-of-the-art set. We don't just threaten to throw people off balconies around here. <laughs> Whoops, sorry. Mark and John always took everything in moderation. Hey, sitting, drinking game! I enjoy him! I enjoy this guy! Credit where it's due, they had a pretty cool green screen operation. For the brew ha ha in Brewtown. I'm the one who castrates pigs. We promise to keep it down tonight. Also, countless terrific correspondents. A fellow named Nick Clegg. Uh, he's very young, he's only 17. And you could tell that a lot of resources went into bringing in the foremost experts in the political arena. Stand clear of the negative attacks, please. Now, 24 days after the presidential election, Mark and John are appearing on their final regularly scheduled episode of With All Due Respect. With the campaign over, a new chapter is gonna begin in this ever-changing media landscape. And 
no, they, they haven't told me if they're, uh, if they're writing another book. 